I'm actually going to not break the frame of being the moderator right now. I'm not going to go into a formal talk. I'd like to continue as the moderator for my 10 minutes. And so what I'll do is I want to invite you into my learning process. I had made a talk, and I'll share my screen because I do a lot of things in Miro. Very visual person. So let's see, here's my Miro. I'll share my screen. So I'd made a talk called Teaching in Fractals, using the tiny systems in our lives to learn the skills of global change, which I'm choosing right now to ch change to something about teaching in fractals, using every moment as an opportunity for learning. This group of us here right now, what is going on right here can teach us something about global systems change. And I'd like to try and point out some of the things that I've noticed. So starting out with Emilio's talk, he comes from a different space than I do. And I've noticed this a lot in ecoversities. I don't, there's a lot of words and language that I haven't really connected with. And that to me introduces conflict in a good way and diversity. And it draws me to notice that there's some learning potential here. Emilio, I would love to connect with you after this session or later on in our lives to learn more about the work that you do because my inability to understand what you're speaking about reflects the impartiality of what I am seeing. But I did really connect with you talking about seeing with kids' eyes, that new vital force. And when Rehan is talking about leaders as learners, I've been referring to that as a learning mindset. And I see that as kind of like the smallest fractal of this thing that I am thinking of as learning, learning at the level of the individual. Rehana drew this beautiful little pathway that took us into this idea of learning to be learning in community. And so that I would consider to be the next larger size of fractal, which is what does it mean to be in like a learning relationship where the partnership itself is learning how to be a better partnership or on the team level or community level? What does it mean for ecoversities to do better year after year to learn from its experience? And then she, at the end, just dropped this amazing bomb, a learning society. What would it look like for humanity to encompass at this larger fractal scale what it would mean to hold this learning mindset for society to start seeing with kids' eyes? And that was like, I mentioned this after Rehana finished speaking, but that's very similar to the work that I'm doing. And the two of us had never met, but we somehow find each other here in this conference. And I go, I also work at a consulting firm. I also am really like what you've spoken here. I have a blog post ready to post that sounds very similar to this. Um, and I think that that's something to be said about the network of things that are going on. There are people here and there's relationships being formed where we are starting to learn as a community and we are starting to learn as a society where different parts of this community are coming along the same learning journey. And I think that's really interesting. So Mitra, <laughs> I mentioned, so I don't know if, how many people are here, but Maple and that whole system is a part of my learning community. I've attended one of these monasteries um, and gotten to learn some of what they're seeing. And I love the way that they are integrating learnings from other communities and trying things out in a monastic setting that I haven't seen done in monastic settings. Um, working with dialogue practices, working with parts work. Um, it's incredible the amount of learning that this organization is doing. I'll stop sharing my screen. Um, and I think that there's something to be said about how we're able to learn through relationships and to bring our awareness of this learning that's happening in relationships with each other, that is very important for the next step. And I'm just doing this right now as a live improv for you. Maybe Rehana would call it doing art or something like that, learning as art. Um, but I'm attempting to embody this fractal learning. And what I was actually gonna do in my talk was to tell you about something that came from elsewhere in my learning community, um, which you could roughly think of as like 50 people who represent different groups, different ways of thinking that I try to understand. Um, and they talk about the kitchen. 
they talk about learning generators and where can we start to find systems change? What does it mean for me to say, I want to change, I want to attempt to solve this meta crisis in community and in collaboration with other people? It's this huge complex thing and it's too much for me to hold by myself. How do I even start? Well, what I might do is I might notice that there's a fractal similarity between this complex problem and say the complex problem of the 50,000 person corporation that I used to work at, where I said, maybe this could be my learning context. I'll work on this. If I can do systems change with this 50,000 person corporation, I might be able to do something with this like global meta crisis. I don't know. It seems like an easier, smaller chunk. And then, well, while I was on retreat, um, somebody had suggested, what about your kitchen, Narayan? Your kitchen is a complex adaptive system. Your family has human relationships. It's got all these different parts that can somehow be integrated into the whole. It's got conflict. We can run prototypes and experiments. It's a, we can create the kitchen as a container for respect and bravery. We can bring our curiosity, our co-creativity and our co-leadership into this space. And the best part about this is that every home has a kitchen, I think. Maybe I hope most homes have a kitchen. But what if we could start to use the kitchen as an opportunity to look at our relationships? Can we bring an awareness of the kitchen as a learning community with the people that we share our kitchen with? Can we start to talk about the elements of learning that we are seeing in this kitchen in a way that helps us understand how we might start to work with the communities that we live in? and in a way that might help us to start to address the meta crisis on the whole. So just a few musings from me.